sleeping in the jungle in, in the huts and, and watching these huge boa constrictors. Originally, I'm from Las Vegas. That's where I was born and raised. I would describe my work as celebratory. Uh, it's a, I think people get a, a charge of electricity. They get excited to see my work. Almost like it's a release of some sort, which, which it is. I'm an artist in residence here at the Arts Warehouse in Delray Beach. It's a very exciting place to work. I want to get more into woodworking and assemblage. In my mind, I, I see it as similar to my painting, which is multi-layered, but I want my layers to stand independently of one another. I'm a terrible hoarder and I, I have cabinets full of wonderful things I've been hoarding for years that I want to incorporate into these assemblages. I'm half Spanish. Most people don't know that. My mother's from Colombia, and I grew up spending my summers in uh, Cartagena, Colombia. My dad had this vision where he was gonna be this great gold miner. My dad took us deep into this uh, jungle where um, there were just very few people that lived in huts, and he found some space under a waterfall that he was determined to find gold nuggets and he brought the kids with him. And I remember sleeping in the jungle and in the huts and, and watching these huge boa constrictors and you couldn't even walk through the jungle. It was so dense that you had to always have somebody with a machete cutting the path. And that was day by day, a new path every day. And we were transported on the workers' backs. My, my dad hired a bunch of people to help him with the gold mining. So we would ride their backs into the jungle and go to this big old waterfall where they would be panning or digging for gold or whatever. I grew up in the desert where everything is very neutral, light brown, sage colored, olive colored, no, no bright vibrancy. But yet that's all I paint is with these bright Caribbean colors. And it is directly an influence of the Caribbean culture in that part of the jungle where we used to visit as kids. Oh, my favorite item at my studio is my um, power sander. It just reveals the most interesting things because it, it not only flattens and changes the texture, it digs deep into many layers. Actually, the windstorms in, in the desert can actually strip the paint off your car. So, <laughs> wow. yeah, it's that's funny. I didn't I never connected the two. This is an example of what I do with my power sander. There are many, many layers on this canvas. And when you look closely and you see a little green line like this emerging here or these floral shapes, these have been put on several layers earlier before the red came, before the green came. And I take this power sander and just sand in certain areas when I want to bring that background up to the surface. By the end of the day, I am exhausted. <laughs> And I thought it would be so easy to come in and paint, to just go home and relax. No way. I photograph where I've left off at the studio and study it at home. I'll put it, print it up on my big screen and just study and, and study and study it and see where it's gonna go next or what would help it. It feels like a tornado some days.